Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a message for the collective. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get the energy for you. Collective, please, spirits. The collective. I don't know about you guys, but it's summer months here in Canada and it is hot here. Pretty warm out. The Swan Queen, Transformation, Intuition, Patience, number four. That usually has structure. Let's see. The Camel Boy, Small Steps, Asking for Help, 33. The Lady of the Mirror, Reflection, Non Judgmental, number eight. The Meta. The Metal King, Discipline, Armor, and Boundaries, yes, number 10, um, you're at the end here of a certain cycle, there's going to be a test, I feel, so let's start with Tarot, let's see what we get, I'm trying to only do 10 minute sessions instead of having them so long, they're just takes away a lot of my energy so let's see what do we get for the collective please spirit so we have the star the knight of wands somebody coming in for a passionate new start with the seven of cups they're either coming in to confuse you or they are coming in because they know you have a lot of options they are coming in quickly with the chariot to win this race. It's the King of Pentacles is coming in. But there seems to be some maybe talking smack about you. I don't know. Talking shit about you behind your back. Let's see. Yeah, you walked away from this person. They regret it. Hmm, who's the King of Wands here? You got two people. Are you the King of Wands? A wounded warrior here. The King of Wands could be someone else that is a wounded warrior as well. You might have to choose between two, it looks like. Yeah, you're the Queen of Wands, so your counter person could be the King of Wands. So you're meant to walk away from this King of Pentacles here. They're going to regret what they did. Let's see, what's the star? Yeah, the Queen of Wands is here. <laughs> she came back out. So, it kind of tells me that this could be a divine union between you and this King of Wands. Yeah, you walked away from this person. From this Knight of Wands here. So, this offer, you're walking away from that. Let's see, what's the Seven of Cups then? Oh, yeah, you're the Empress. You're the star, you're the queen of cups, you're the sweetheart. You're coming out as the queen of cups as well. The empress can embody all four of the queens. There's no confusion here. You just have a lot of options. What's the chariot then? Giving back, I feel. Giving back to balance some scales. Equal give and take here. Whew. Yeah, death to the king of pentacles. There's an ending here. Definitely. So you might have walked away from them and you grew. With all the new growth on this uh, wand here, it kind of makes me feel like maybe you both grew from this experience, whatever it was. You definitely have a nurturing uh, disposition, you're, you're doing well to be the empress. No confusion here, I feel. 
the chariot. You're giving back maybe to your community. Yeah, it's a win for you. I kind of feel like maybe you're getting a blessing here. What's the five of swords? Hmm, we got a choice with the lovers. A choice waiting for your ships to come in and the chariot is a win, triumph, success. So it could be some kind of karma or something having to do with this talking shit about you. It's a choice. Waiting for your ships to come in. A strategy. A win. Success. Hmm. What's the Eight of Cups then? Hmm. Yeah, this was kept from you. They never did tell you that this is what they were doing. You're going to find out a few things, I kind of feel like. You've walked away from this. You don't, I don't feel like you're, you're walking away from any fear from it. I don't think you really care about what other people think of you. Why is the moon here? Hmm. Yeah, there's regret here about, I kind of feel like it's still that king of pentacles because they talk shit about you. Could be this king of wands. Because it looks like you end this with this king of pentacles. It's a choice. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Things are moving forward. You're having success. It's after you end this with them that this Five of Swords comes up. There's regret and fear or secrets here. Walking away from a new beginning. Maybe they keep coming back to you. You have to keep walking away from them. More regret. What's this Nine of Swords? Ten of Cups. Wow. Ah, the Emperor is showing up. Holy hell. <laughs> the Emperor seems to have some regret too here. Or sleepless nights. And then the King of Wands is here. So we have the Emperor and the Empress showing up here. That's a divine union. Wow. Alright then, who's the King of Wands? <laughs> Somebody coming in to fight for you. Okay. <laughs> Why are they coming in to fight for you? What's going on here with the King of Wands? High Priestess, you're going to use your intuition or they are spiritual possibly and they're using their intuition. What is the Emperor here? Well, the Emperor is single, looks like. How about this King of Wands? Standing their ground, standing up for themselves. You're standing up against this person. You're using your intuition. What else about this King of Wands? Yeah, King of Pentacles. It's a friend of this King of Pentacles. Maybe they're here just to try to keep you stuck or to interfere with this Emperor coming in here. Yeah, because you end it with this King of Pentacles, so it's possible they get a friend to come in, try to mess with you. Someone they know. you got to make a choice here, it looks like. 
Yeah, Wounded Warrior again. <laughs> so, wow, this Emperor could be a Wounded Warrior too. Um, it could be that there was some secrets with this Emperor and she's had slip, sleep with nights thinking about you and a new beginning. Worried that you're going to walk away. Still having sleepless nights. It wants to be happy. And he shows up. He's single. So it's possible he's walked away from someone else. I'm not sure I like this part though here. The Five of Swords making a choice. Some strategy or waiting for your ships to come in and still having success and moving forward. And then there's the moon, regret, taking a leap of faith by moving away from it. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like this person gets a friend to try to come in or comes in to try to mess things up for you. But you're going to have a lot of people coming in for you, collective. Now, don't make it your story if it's not your story, however, right? So, just keep that in mind that this is uh, for somebody in particular here. And I kind of feel like this is going to come up real soon here, before the end of July. I kind of feel that, so just keep your eyes open and listen to your intuition, and it will guide you to where you need to go. So just don't ignore your intuition, okay? And don't let anyone try to tell you that you shouldn't be listening to your intuition, okay? Because anyone that does that is just trying to control you, okay? So watch out for any narcissists that are just there, sees you as a possession, not as a human being that has free will. <laughs> there are people out there like that, unfortunately. So just keep that in mind. Use your intuition, and I feel like you're going to be just fine. Um, I kind of feel like Whoever this other person is that is also a wounded warrior, I kind of feel like you heal each other. There is an offer of love here, some sun here. Might be someone from your past. They're still healing, and there was a tower because of some betrayal here. But there is an offer from the divine about your future. Somebody that's coming back into your life, maybe that juggled you before. They want to maybe marry you or have a happy, have move in together, happy home, happy life. Sees you as the star. They're coming in quickly for your wish fulfillment. They've been watching you. And they definitely want to give you that love offer. I've been hanging on to you. You might have been married to this person in the past, but I kind of feel like this cycle has ended and there's justice and maybe they're receiving karma. That is why they are coming to see you. They see you as the earth angel and want a victory. Want to heal this with you because they're still sad about it. Maybe they want to work with you. But maybe even manifested you but the wheel of fortune's here and you're just fine just on your own another offer so there's quite a few offers here maybe you're unapproachable though maybe somebody was out in the cold here but you're doing good financially yeah, there's people, there's haters out here. 
there's lovers, children, lovers. <laughs> it's it's like the person you might have been in, in a re, uh, relationship with or you thought was a relationship, they might have been stepping out on you and now have a new child, uh, baby boy maybe. You might be a tarot reader. This King of Wands here has a lover. So this King of Wands here. So they're not single, but this Emperor looks like he is. You're going to have the courage. You're not going to be stuck in your head. You've already got a message. You're just working. They see you as very beautiful. And there's a King of Cups here, too, that you walked away from that maybe confused, was trying to confuse you about a third party. You were at a crossroads. Maybe they want to apologize and give you some truth. And they're coming in to give you an offer. Wow, you got a lot of people coming in to give you offers and maybe even to apologize. Maybe because you are successful now. You're going to see a lot of these people as a burden. You're not going to pay attention to them. They're not going to want to commit. And yeah, a lot of competition for you. You might need a new perspective. But you're, I think because you're worried about getting your heart broken. You're looking for that long-term love. You're going to make that judgment call. You want somebody that's passionate for you. You don't want any shady-ass behavior, any toxic codependency, possession-type possession people. Another person's coming in for you that wants to give you love and the Ten of Pentacles. So it might be that, well, there's a chance here with the Emperor. Now, whether that person is the one that has messed you over before, you're going to have to use your intuition to really sort that out for yourself. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. All right. Later.